Bonjour and welcome to Charlie Sims in the 50s, my edited version of Charlie Sims. Uh, it's uh, Sim Summer 1950. Uh, well, actually, it's uh, the last day of Sim Summer 1950. So fall is coming and um, we're going to take advantage of the, that last day. Hopefully it's going to be a clear, beautiful, pretty weather day. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting well. <laughs> But knowing my luck, it might it might turn quite bad later. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, it's going to be a clear day. I need it uh, <laughs> because I would like to to spend some time outside uh, with one of the, the ladies we're going to follow today. So um, we are with the Bonnet family. The Bonnet family consists of uh, two sisters. So we first have the uh, older one is uh, Beatrice. So Beatrice, she is um, an adult and uh, she used to be both uh, clumsy and absent-minded. And uh, I, I like those traits uh, because uh, it seems to do very fun interactions when they have these. But uh, when they have both of those traits, they are a quite uh, a challenge to play because you have to watch over them all the time uh, when they don't break things they, for they forget about the things they had bro broken before <laughs> and uh, yeah you already al always have to remind them to do things so that's why I've kept only clumsy um, she is also a um, supernatural fan though I don't have any supernatural creatures in town Oh, I do have ghosts, so she might go and visit the cemetery one of these days, nights. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do that. I'm, uh, I'm putting that uh, idea je just in the corner of my mind. I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, she also likes cats and would like to adopt one. And uh, yeah, uh, for that first sim year, I wanted to concentrate on the sims themselves, on the human sims. So no uh, controllable pets, um, but I might cave in like pretty soon. We'll see. And um, she's a uh, her job, her position, her. Uh, I was going to, to say uh, uh, what she does for a living, but actually she doesn't need to do anything for a living. They are very wealthy, a very wealthy family. Uh, they don't have all their money here because they put. Uh, most of it at the bank. I don't remember how much they there, but like uh, 50, 50 grand or something like that. Um, at least. I think they are the wealthiest sims in town. Uh, but uh, yep, uh, she she does something for a living. She well, she uh, she does have a job. She's um, the town's painter, main painter. So she does painting and then she sells it. She sells them uh, at the consignment store, but I do that in a weird way, so that's why it doesn't really count. <laughs> and um, and I'm going to. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to evolve, but it's it is going to evolve. It's just a, a first step in what I want to do. So that's it for Beatrice, and then we have Colette. So Colette, uh, younger sister, she's a young adult, and uh, she is my uh, adventurer sim, <laughs> like my adventure sim. She is, um, she's always wishing to go uh, abroad, which is good because she's an adventurer, and um, she's. Um, a bookworm. She uh, she already had that trait before, so she, I made her the librarian. I can't say that word. It's su super 
hard to pronounce. She's a librarian. <laughs> she works at the library. <laughs> That's where the term. She works at the library. And um, so I gave her, I had a, um, uh, obviously she's not, not what I wanted to do. This one. <laughs> so uh, it's quite late. I'm super tired. So sorry. It's going to be a weird video. So she, uh, I assigned her to uh, um, um, oh, a career that I, I got on the internet. Um, oh, shoot. Well, uh, a mod career uh, and uh, a modded career. And uh, then I had her retire so that she could be assigned to a desk. Uh, you know, one of uh, Azil's uh, creation that he made uh, desks. And you can assign people to them and then uh, give them their uh, job title. So uh, actually in the library I have um, Sandy's version, it's a cross. So she's assigned to a cross and then uh, she uh, has uh, hours, uh, work hours and uh, she has also um, uh, days off, etc. So it's a very cool mod. What else? Okay, so she's uh, the librarian. <laughs> I'm going to manage one of these days. <laughs> and uh, she's also proper. Oh my gosh, she's proper. So she keeps on uh, uh, switching to a uh, formal outfit. So she's it's in the middle of the day, uh, and suddenly she's going to walk in uh, wearing uh, her very formal dress <laughs> with a hat. So, yeah, I, and usually when I when I have proper seams like that, I what I do is I I have their formal wear be the same as uh, their uh, casual wear, but here it's just too much fun <laughs> to have a walk with that huge dress. So <laughs> they are a lot of fun to play. So uh, that's it for the introductions. Uh, this is the house. It's the same one they had uh, when. Uh, uh, well, it's the same lot where they used to live in the original version, and um, I've changed it quite a bit and uh, added a few more rooms. Uh, but uh, just like uh, at the Durand, at the Durand, uh, we have um, I, I, I've put um, a few hidden room markers uh, so that they don't use all the rooms uh, because it's uh, too big of a house for two people. So I haven't finished decorating it uh, everywhere yet, so for instance uh, the kitchen is quite barren, but um, I've done the, the bedrooms, so that's uh, the main thing. That's the dining uh, drawing room, so here we have Colette talking to a bird, I gave her a bird because uh, she wants to travel abroad, so it's like an exotic touch at home before she goes to on her travels. It's not going to be right now. I need to get to know her here before she goes on an adventure. So good job and uh, Beatrice is in her bedroom in her <laughs> in her sleepwear <laughs> and uh, finishing her painting. So I like her to finish it before going to town uh, later today because we're going to sell it at the consignment store. Also I've got plans for her today. Uh, she's not going, well she doesn't have work hours so uh, Colette is asked to go to work at 10. She works from 10 to um, like that on the top, at the top of my head. I think it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and uh, so she's going to leave around 10, 10. The mud is going to call her over to the library. Hmm. And then uh, hmm. we are going to leave with um, with uh, Miss uh, Beatrice. And we are going to sell her painting at the consignment store. And then uh, I would like to use... So let's name your painting. Uh, so this is the Eiffel Tower here. But it's, you know, a very artsy picture. <laughs> um, so let's name this like uh, uh, 
one or two, yeah, two. Uh, that doesn't mean really anything. Brouillon, it means like a draft, and Ephelion, it, means, it comes from the Eiffel Tower. Uh, okay, and uh, you would like to paint another one. Okay, uh, hopefully we will. So, I'll just have her hit the bathroom while I'm preparing. Okay, so do that. We'll have a quick look at the first floor. So this is Beatrice's bedroom. Let's have the wall up for more intimacy. Well, privacy. Intimacy was not the word I was looking for. <laughs> privacy. <laughs> so Beatrice's room. This one is uh, Colette's. And we have hidden room marker here. So... I'm a bit surprised she hasn't switched uh, to a formal wear yet. <laughs> okay, the Lefebvre are arguing. So you're done with your bird? Good. Do you need to clean up his home? Oh, it's sleeping. How sweet. Uh, nope, 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 you're good. Okay. So let's speed things up a bit. Uh, so what I would like to do with uh, Beatrice is, actually I um, would like to try this out. So this is like a portable uh, easel. And it's a mod uh, uh, that is on Mad The Sims. And uh, it's an old one, so I'm hoping it's going to work well. And um, so it allows you to, well, to bring your easel with you. <laughs> so we're going to go to the watchtower, which is... So she should have been called by the mod. Yes, she's going to work. And my bicycle is still here, so she hasn't left yet. So yeah, the watchtower is... like. Nice. The sky is nice still, so that's cool. So the watchtower is over there. I like to go to the top because there is a nice view from there and do a painting from there. Hopefully the weather is going to hold. So here she goes to the library. Are you good? Yeah, no tea. You know what? We are going to go to town. So the sister, they live there. Uh, on that small hill here. So here we have the, the Lambert family, the mayor and his uh, daughter uh, Janine. That's the Nectari. Um, here is the Durance farm. And we have the Dutiel's house um, that has disappeared. It should be here. That's an issue you have from time to time. So I need to go there have them uh, like work on the build mode and then it's going to reappear. So I won't do that right now because that, that's in there. No worries. See? Now home. Well, Henri, uh, Remy is home. Henri, Henri is his best friend. Okay, so uh, just uh, community lots and let's go to uh, the consignment store and zoom in on the library. Okay, no, no. So, this is the library and we have Colette coming over. Oh, this is Henri. Here. So the library is just next to the school. <laughs> so, uh, Colette is a bit glitchy too. I've got a lot of my sims are glitchy. Like I've got uh, almost one pair household. So uh, one of her glitch is that, yeah, she uh, uh, her need ga gauges. Uh, they don't go down 
or when they do it's very slowly and then they go back up so I do some <laughs> some tinkering here uh, from time to time during the day I don't know why uh, it's not uh, it's not the settings here because I did not enable this one this one no this one to I don't know Oh, so Beatrice met someone. So she's at the consignment store. Uh, let's have Colette uh, say hi. So he's reading. Let, let him read and say hi to Umi. She has a, a temper, so be careful. <laughs> oh yeah, do that. She's going to curtsy. Oh, of course she. <laughs> so that's her formal wear. <laughs> Yeah, she's dabbing. Okay, <laughs> and uh, then you can work on your. She would like to learn how to write. So, oh, you know what? I'll go back to you later. Uh, let's um, zoom in on uh, Beatrice. So Beatrice, she's at the consignment store. Let Let's have a quick look. That's her bicycle. I love that one. It's awesome. Here, hi Gaston. Hi Lea. So that's a uh, oops, oopsie doopsie. Okay, that's my consignment store. Um, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> and uh, what I would like her to do is to. So she wants to buy a partition. Do you say a partition? I don't know. Well, she would like to buy uh, in partition in French, uh, something to play on the piano. So the issue here is that I don't know. Oof, it's very expensive. And for the guitar, I think this one is for the piano. Yeah, and it's not that expensive. So maybe uh, it's for her skill level because she's uh, at what? Oh, six. Uh, how? This one is a bit too expensive, so I'm thinking it might be for she needs to reach reach uh, the level above to use it. So why she's doing that? I can see you. <laughs> uh, um, so what I do is oh shoot, forgot to pick up the painting. So what I do is I have her put the painting inside, and then I. I put the painting and then I, I take uh, as as much as I, I as it's worth. So as for instance this one it was worth like fifty simoleons, so I took a bag of fifty simoleons. Um don't remember how much it, it cost uh it what worth. It was worth the one at home. But I'll do that later. I totally forgot it. But we have things to do, so Let's pay and not go like a thief. And um, then she can go uh, to the watchtower because I would really like to to try to try this out. So this is Edith. She's the owner of um, the consignment store. So let's pay. Ooh, cocoa beans. So we're good, and uh, that's our view, and go there, so everything, and you go there, okay? And let's uh, go spend some time. Uh, with Colette. Oh yeah, told you Colette, she has a temper. <laughs> so both sisters are a bit eccentric, even though they don't have uh, the trait. But um, Colette, I don't know why she she makes people mad. <laughs> yeah, well, stop talking to her, or well, listening to her. And uh, work on your writing skills. Um, bup, 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 bup. Writing. Here you go. Oh, you wanted to read. Sorry. 
Oh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking it's a very bad idea. But let's light a fire. Like in, in, in the fireplace. Not elsewhere, <laughs> please. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's write. Let's. Oh, sorry. You 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 will read later, promise. But uh, she doesn't have it um, a typewriter at home, so let's use this one here. Okay, <laughs> that sound was a bit weird for a typewriter. <laughs> so where is uh, Beatrice um, still going? Okay. It. Okay, so let's uh, go with Beatrice now. Um, yep. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, but I'd view again. What is that weather? I don't like that. So, let's just uh, show you the way uh, she took. So she's, um, she left uh, the consignment store, then she went that way. Here, here, here. She left a um, bicycle here, and then she's. Uh, where are you? Here. Oh, I was going to say she. She's now walking in the woods, but no, she's running. She's very much running. Um, I know that cars and uh, sometimes uh, seems walking are not uh, showing well uh, when I'm. I'm uh, Recording, so hopefully it goes well. It's not, it's uh, quite fast. <laughs> She's a good runner. So, yeah, I don't like that weather. Oh, shoot, it's all foggy. And what about my super plan to have a, a nice view from the top of the tower? Yes. Okay, let's do it anyway. It's really too bad. So that lot and that uh, watchtower lot, I just changed it a tiny bit, but it it, uh, it used to be a, a, a big tower with a, a house uh, over there, I think. So I've just kept the tower and uh, and uh, I haven't finished uh, done everything I wanted to do here, but uh, let's use it anyway. So, come, go to the top, please. <laughs> Just going to check the view quickly, but I'm afraid I won't see the train, you will be. Ah, what the heck? Oh, I can see the bridge. So, yeah, it's not, not everything is lost. I can kind of see the bridge. Wow, <laughs> there are quite some clouds. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> they are pretty too. <laughs> okay, no more f fog, please. Just that, and then let's leave it at that. I, I want to be able to see that bridge. So, the idea is to uh, ha have the easel here. So, I could uh, I could actually buy an easel and have it all the time on that lot, but uh, I like the idea of having a portable one. Okay, so let's set it like there. Okay, good. And uh, let's try and... Um, I'm pretty sure the Eiffel Tower is going to be a bit... Oh! It's kind of pretty. We can call it like Paris Mamboya or something like that. So, okay. Uh, oh shoot, we're not ah high enough. So yeah, we can only see the bottom, uh, so let's switch to, okay, that one, is that pretty? 
we just reach here to the top or that one yeah that one okay let's do that okay <laughs> go ahead please <laughs> what's going on <laughs> okay it doesn't seem to phase her so why not <laughs> Well, if she can paint, let's go for it. <laughs> well, it's an older mo mode, so maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's pre-pet? Pets? But, I don't know. I, I'm not a... I don't do mesh, so I, I have no idea why... And these all would be, uh, you know, different from pre-pets because the pets, they don't climb on these, do they? I don't know, <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> and it just fits her. I mean, she's quite eccentric, so cool. Okay, so I want, I want to see the results. So I'm going to speed things up and Yep, and hopefully it's not going to stop raining. Um, oh, now it's, now it's clear. Okay, we don't see the Eiffel Tower that well. Oh, a boat. And, uh, yeah. It's clearer. We have such a pretty view from here. Hear the birds? Cool. cool. Okay, so it's 5 p.m. and yeah, she works until 5 p.m. and then she goes back home. So going back home and see her all her needs or uh, um, uh, gauges, they are full. Good. So let's put it in your inventory. Or can't you? Wrong sister. <laughs> Oh shoot. Um foggy um uh, Parisian fog. Okay, can't you take it? Yes you can. Okay, and then have the easel here in your inventory and then oh here is a train. Well, too late. I was going to paint you. So she's going to go back home and we're going to end this episode here. So next episode I'm thinking um, certainly uh, Jean-Luc Pivert. Uh, he's my crazy guy and it's going to be uh, the first episode during uh, fall so well, I, I'll see you then a bientôt <laughs>